it's nearly December and that means I can think about Christmas and Christmas decorations. And here is a Christmas decoration. It's not complete yet. The piece of board is not very attractive uh, next to a log burning fire. But this is a meteorite and it's the meteorite that uh, BigClive.com has published a video about. It's based on his code using a PIC microcontroller, the 12F629 if memory serves. And it uses tri-state multiplexing to light 12 LEDs. Now this board's sadly a little bit big to get in on camera so we can see all 12 LEDs. But let me turn that back on. It goes through and does a test of each LED and then does a meteor effect. And uh, BigClive.com has uh, created a small switch in here. And if we short that, we can get various different effects that is programmed in. Now this tri-state multiplexing is quite clever. Each one of these digital pins on the, uh, the PIC can have three states. It can be set to output and high well, that will provide 5 volts along one of these uh, enamel copper wires here. It can be low, the same potential as ground. Or it can be in the middle somewhere, high impedance. It can be set as an input. So with just 4 wires here, using 4 digital pins, we can control 12 LEDs independently of each other. It's also sometimes known as Charlie plexing. And because only one LED is actually on at any one time, although it can often look like many LEDs are on at the same time, uh, it pulls a surprisingly small amount of current. And as you can see there, just one, two milliamps to power the whole thing, the pick and the LEDs. Now I'll link to Big Clive's video up here in the corner so he can talk you through the whole build of this. Uh, because that's not the purpose of this video, but thank you to Big Clive for producing that video. Now, fun though it was making these, it is quite time consuming. Uh, 12 LEDs, well that's 24 wires to solder, plus what, 8 at the top, uh, resistor, that sort of thing. And like I said, fun, but that took me quite a lot of time. And an inordinate amount of time when you think you can buy these professionally made meteor lights for just I think eight pounds what that less than ten dollars and uh, these actually have I think it's 15 warm white LEDs in their dropper circuit and uh, a little eight pin anonymous chip there at the top so just positive and negative going into the top of each one of these circuit boards and with eight of these well, that would have taken me about four or five hours to make those, I think. But the problem is, of course, is that this comes with a mains adapter. And that's no good for me because I don't like to use 240 volt in the shed, wherever possible at least. I prefer to use 12 volts or less. So further down the wire, there is this connector. And uh, the same as on each of the uh, Meteor lights, there's just two pins, and I suspect that this is 5 volts, something like that. So yes, 5.22 volts on the output of that power supply. So as long as I get the polarity correct, then uh, I can just regulate my 12 volt battery system down to 5 volts and be able to power these meteorites from the solar shed. So let's give it a go. 5.2 volts on the output of the ming -He adapter there and all eight meteors are working perfectly. And uh, turn that on again. They're only pulling a oh, maximum of 120 milliamps when the most LEDs are on. So that's pretty efficient, excellent. They're going on the shed. But they're not the only lights I've bought from eBay in the last few weeks. I've also bought these. And these are um, surface mount LEDs, uh, which are 
soldered onto small enamel wires. This is the same sort of thing that I've been doing with my uh, BigClive.com um, homemade ones, but much smaller, much more professional, and uh, these work off 12 volt, and that's a 5.1, uh, 2.2 mil uh, jack connector there as well. So these are excellent, and I've got two sets of these 12 volt ones, and um, there we go, and there's the second set. Now, one of these is coloured, I believe, and one of them is just warm white. Now, all the LEDs on this string look exactly the same colour, but there is a bit of difference on some of these, so I suspect this is the multicoloured one. Shall we plug them in? So, uh, I don't know, positive on the centre, no instructions with these. Excellent. Yeah, they're working. Uh, let me just adjust the camera there. Uh, some pink, some blue, some white, some warm white, some green. Now, it's definitely worth mentioning that there's no obvious resistor in here. This just seems to be... The wires coming out of that 2.1 5.5 trailing lead straight onto the wires of the string of LEDs. So at 12 volts, this must have at least four LEDs in series uh, to ensure that they're not going to draw too much current and blow themselves up. Well, hopefully they won't melt themselves away, but uh, they seem to be quite nice. Now you can also get versions of these with a USB plug on the end and we can see in there there is a resistor and a small capacitor and uh, I think this is probably the way forward to be honest because USB is pretty ubiquitous and we've all got lots of USB chargers, um, power supplies in the home and uh, it, I think that would make it easy to uh, light up various corners of your living room. Um, so we'll plug these in to a power bank. And there we are. And again, they're the same multicolored blue, white, pink, green, etc. etc. Now, I do have to mention that I do have another set of these 12 volt lights, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the cable broke, the uh, enameled copper wire broke. So, if you are going to get some of these, I would advise you're quite delicate with them, uh, you're quite careful uh, because they can break. So there we are then, I just need to wire these into my battery system. I'll only be turning these on at night, so my battery voltage won't be much over 12.5, 12.7 volts, I wouldn't have thought, while I'm using them. Hopefully that's going to be safe enough. And uh, I'll make sure I can plug in the meteor lights as well. Um, but two strings of static lights, lots of warm white, some multicoloured ones, that might not be terribly interesting. So I thought... I might improve them by making them flash a bit. So this is what I've got, an Arduino Uno on the right hand side that's going to be powered by the same source here, my 12 volt battery system. It's connected through to a relay module, just a single relay on this one. And that's going to uh, simply go between one set of lights and the other set of lights. And they're going to be connected on these two 5.5, 2.1 mil connectors right there and the sketch well that's dead easy if you download the arduino ide and find the blink example that's exactly what i'm going to use here so we're using digital out 13 ground and five volts to power the actual relay and so every one second the onboard led will go on and then go off again and that's exactly what's going to happen to my shed LEDs. One of them will go on, and then the other one will go on, because they're connected to the normally closed and normally open contacts on the relay. All I have to do now is put them up. So here we have it for the solar-powered Arduino-controlled Christmas Lights 2016 switch on. Nothing's happening. Guess which numpty forgot to program the Arduino. So, with a little less grandeur... It still isn't working. So my... Oh, there you go, just a dodgy connection. 
looks like that. There we go. Excellent. So now it goes from warm white LEDs to multicolored LEDs. Every second. Oh, well, that was smooth, wasn't it? And with the Meteorite connectors cut off and saved in case I ever need to put it back on again, let's turn the Meteorites on. There we go. They're also working. Excellent. Well, that's it. Video done. Well, of course, that's not video done, but it is job done. And I don't think it looks too bad. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you can. Comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas.